Hi everybody, I'm Larry Trexer with Sim Products, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do an SMC repair using Fleetline Composite Adhesive and Repair. Composite Adhesive and Repair is a fiber-enriched, epoxy-based formula designed not only for bonding, but also for the repairing of composite plastics such as carbon fiber, SMC, and fiberglass. It also works well on meton. It has a 35 minute working time and a three hour dry time and has exceptional sanding and feather edging characteristics. Three things that make this product stand apart from other competitive products in the marketplace. One, this product has several heat set options. Now, in addition to allowing it to air dry for three hours, you can also take a heat lamp and put on there for 10 minutes at 180 degrees or you can put it into a heated paint booth at 30 minutes at 140 degrees. Two is the fiber enriched formula. One of the things that you commonly see when you're trying to repair a composite plastic is swelling or haloing in the repair material after it's been painted. This fiber enriched formula helps to eliminate that. Three is the ability to be able to bond and repair out of one product. The first step in repairing SMC or other composite plastics is to clean the front side and the back side with plastic and leather prep. Use masking tape to prevent saturation of any exposed fibers prior to cleaning. Next, grind away any broken, rough, or ragged edges with a 36 grit grinding disc. Sand the face of the repair with 80 grit paper 2 to 3 inches around the damaged area. Dish the damaged area one to two inches beyond the damage on all sides with a 36 grit disc, making sure to round off any hard edges. On the back side of the repair, sand with 36 to 80 grit paper or disc three to four inches around the damaged area. Blow off the dust with clean, dry, compressed air. Starting with the backside repair, place a strip of masking tape over the face of the repair to keep the product from seeping through. Equalize the cartridge by dispensing product until both parts flow equally. Attach the static mixer. Dispense two to three inches of test material to make certain of proper mixing. Create a patch from a layer of fiberglass cloth sandwiched between two layers of composite adhesive and repair. The patch should be large enough to overlap the damage by at least one inch. Use the plastic spreader to seat the fiberglass cloth into the dispensed adhesive. After the composite adhesive and repair has set, continue to the front side repair. Construct a pyramid shaped patch matching the size of the dished area using progressively smaller layers of fiberglass cloth and composite adhesive and repair onto a piece of release film. Place the patch into the dished area. Roll with the fiberglass roller to seat the patch into the repair and release air pockets. After the repair has set, remove the release film. Sand the surface with 80 grit, then with 180 grit sandpaper. Blow off the dust with clean, dry, compressed air, then prime and refinish per manufacturer's instructions. Composite adhesive and repair takes all the guesswork out of choosing the appropriate product for the job. Whether bonding or repairing, composite adhesive and repair has you covered. Sim is the right choice.